Morning, Sarah Bravo Bravo. Good afternoon to you. Report your Uh, 2,000 feet on 1014. Bravo Bravo. Bravo Bravo. Hello YouTube, Wycliffe Barrett here, x Dedicated. Today we're going to look at Orbex's Global Terra Flora. But before we do that, don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you dislike the video. And also hit the notification bell and then you'll be notified of videos that go live regarding x 11. So, Global Terra Flora for x 11. What is it? Well, what it is, is a complete new kind of set of textures for trees for the whole world now not only is it for the whole world but there are different trees in different parts of the world and these are hd quality trees as it was in the esp version of fsx some years ago so what i did i thought i would go to three different loca locations so we could have a look at the trees in those locations and here we are at to South Wales, not very far from Cardiff Airport, in an area where the viaduct is, and this is Porth Kerry Park. Now, I've been here many times uh, for a drive and a walk, and as we zoom in here, we're coming into a valley beneath the uh, viaduct there. You can see a White House. I've driven to that White House, and you can walk up here up this valley. Now, look at these trees here. There's a huge variation in the trees. Now, we've got oaks, we've got sycamores, there are even some pine trees in there as well. And as I say, these are HD trees, the 3D HD trees. And unlike the default trees in X Plane, which are made up of just like two planes and if you look down from the top it looks like a cross these are fully 3d trees now i don't know how they've been created but they've been created by the talented team at turbulent designs and it just looks amazing and it it replaces all the trees throughout the whole world now i thought it was going to be a huge package but it's actually only around about 23 megabytes if that is really really a small package but looks superb so what I thought I'd do is move away from Porth Kerry Park and we'd move towards uh, where I live because there's an ancient wood not very far from where I live called Plymouth Woods. And I thought, let's have a look at that. And on my way there, you could see all the trees are placed accurately around golf courses and down lanes and roads and across fields. Here we are, we're coming up towards Wenville. You can see the television mass there. As we come up towards Culverhouse Cross, which is not very far from where I live, here's Culverhouse Cross now. And then we come across this estate and down towards the uh, Plymouth Wood area as I was talking about and in the middle of the pitch you can see a white kind of square building that is St Fagans which is the National Living Museum of Wales uh, one of my friends in fact a few of my friends have been there I've taken them there Frank King when he came over from uh, the United States we went for a quick visit to uh, St Fagans Living Museum of Wales so that's where that is and all the trees around there are incredibly accurate uh, it looks superb so I think apart from replacing all of the trees throughout the whole world it also actually enhances them because they're slightly different they look better in some way so I'm quite pleased about that it looks really really good um, whether you're talking whether you're taking flight over densely populated forests or soaring around lush islands, Terraflora XP will ensure trees of the world look pleasing to the eye in all seasons, in all scenarios. <clears throat> so here we are in Corfu. Now, I lived in Corfu for a couple of years and I thought, let's have a look. And I would, I would have liked to have seen more cypress trees. Now, clearly what we're supposed to see represented here are olive trees. And yeah, once again, it's done a really good job of representing the trees, the flora and fauna of, of, the, uh, of the island. Uh, although Corfu Town is densely kind of packed together with architecture and buildings, there are trees, of course. And so we have a quick fly over the harbour. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going because I had a cold this week. But, as I say, I would have liked to have seen more cypress trees and really all I'm seeing is lots and lots of olive trees, which is fine. Uh, I would say the trees here, they quite resemble what it looked like when I lived there, although that was some years ago. Still, there are plenty of trees around. So, once again, very nice indeed. I then decided to move on to another location. I thought I'd go a bit further in the Northern Hemisphere and uh, I decided that I would like to have a look at uh, Oslo um, up in Norway 
because we know for sure that uh, here in the UK we get every Christmas we get millions and millions of Christmas trees which are developed not developed which are grown in Norway so let's let's get up there we're ENGM we're by the airport and as you can see the trees here are very different no no longer do no longer do we see oak trees and sycamore trees, but all we're seeing is Nordic pines. Millions upon millions upon millions of Nordic pine trees, uh, which is indicative of the area. Uh, certainly in Norway, there are millions of trees. Um, and I think what has happened here, Robex has done a really, really good job here. Uh, now, some years ago, a friend of ours, mine and a couple of other people, I remember he bought a package, a tree package, for FSX. I think it was FSX. Could have been Flight Simulator 2004. And if I recall, that package cost him £60 to put trees just in the UK, right? This only cost £13.27, and it's new trees for the whole world. And it works with uh, Orbex True Earth Scenery, so True Earth Great Britain South, North and Central. It also works with... Uh, explains default scenery and where we are now in um, Oslo this is default scenery but it's been it's been enhanced by the new global terra flora for X-Plane 11 I think this is a really neat package it's not very expensive at all and uh, I think for the most part it's well worth getting I'll also say there is no impact on frame rates whatsoever, no no impact at all on the FPS. So you get superb HD quality trees, you get realistic representation, uh, high quality vegetation textures, uh, multiple tree types to cover the world, uh, coloured to match the default ground, the most realistic HD vegetation suitable for X-Plane, and seamless blending with terra flora textures and orbex true earth so there you have it uh, an excellent package from orbex it's available now on their website and uh, as all i can say is uh, it's a good package and for the price it's well worth it so you've made it to the end of the video i uh, hope you found it useful i'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit funny but uh, i did have a cold this week so my voice is going a little bit a little bit just like to thank Wired to Fire once again for uh, supporting the channel and uh, Explain Dedicated, Windsock Simulations, who we're associated with, and Air Wales, of course, and all my streams are done using Streamlabs OBS. I'm Wycliffe Barrett. This is Explain Dedicated. We'll see you all soon. Cheerio.